Okay, so for anyone streaming, if you may have noticed, I uh, got a quick up to go make my screen go away so you could actually see the game. So we're going to start over. So anyway, back to what I was saying. We're going to finish up season one of Sam and Max, episode six, Bright Side of the Moon. Make the screen go away. And we'll just restart the game and re-recording. And for a lot, we're back. Which is why every citizen will find a complimentary government-issued aerosol can waiting in the mailbox. Get to spraying, America! Let's heat this mother up! This has been an announcement from the President of the United States. What gives, Sam? You missed your cue! What? Oh, sorry, little buddy in chief. I'm still thinking about our last case. The internet said it was working for somebody named Roy G. Biv. Obviously a pseudonym, but for who? Or whom? We're detectives, Sam, not mind readers. Hey, maybe we should ask Hugh Bliss. Mind readers, that's it. No, that's not it. By the way, have you seen my copy of Emetics, the Handbook for Multicolored Happiness by Hugh Bliss? Colors. No, think, Max, think. Well, I know I had it this morning. That's it, morning. In the ancient tongue of the mud-worshipping Kapalahotek tribe of the Serengeti, our word morning means he who destroys the hypnotic rainbow man. That's the word he fears the most. So this Roy G. Biv is the one person we've met who's never said the word morning. And that means it's... It's the commissioner. The commissioner? I never did trust him. No, Chowderhead. It's Hugh Bliss. Never! Well, oh, no, commissioner. I didn't mean... Look, I need you to put out an APB on Hugh Bliss. Stat. By the Greek goddess Selene in a chariot with dual overhead cams and silver fox mud flaps. We're on our way. Let's go, Max. The commissioner said that Hugh Bliss is currently staying at his exclusive prismatology retreat, the Blister of Tranquility. Oh boy! I bet it's somewhere really cool and exotic, like a remote island in the South Pacific or Des Moines. Even farther, pal. We're going to the moon. So the last time I did this, I was going to comment on that. I like how the guy from a couple of episodes ago is still tied up in the closet in the background of her office. He deserves it. That was from, from the casino episode. It's been a while since I played that one. It's a good episode. Good episode. Feels good to be back on the moon, doesn't it? We made good time, too. We've still got plenty of generic brand powdered orange flavored drink mix left. You always did know how not to infringe on a registered trademark, little buddy. What are we doing first, Sam? Let's locate the blister of tranquility, find out what you bliss is up to, and arrest his unprincipled magical butt. Is that a visitor center? You know. Just gotta love the visitor centers on uh, the moon. <laughs> Nixon Agnew 65. Well, well, aren't you Teddy Bear? Once upon a time, but no longer. Who are you now? I've gone back to being Harry Mole Man. Or should I say I've gone forward? Prismatology has helped me find a new me where the old one used to be. You seem shorter than you used to. I used to use that exoskeleton, but Prismatology has taught me that size doesn't matter. Color does! Harry Mole Man will never be sensitive about being diminutive again. Or about referring to himself in the third person, apparently. Are you still a notorious criminal? Or an obscure one, like Kevin Mitnick? No, I've repostulated my lemma since prismatology found me. It's the straight and narrow for Harry Mole Man from here on out. Didn't you explode? Only in the spiritual sense. Prismatology helped me put Harry Mole Man back together again. 
Looks like it may have left out a few pieces by mistake. Well, I guess it's nice to see you again. Actually, I'm still a little sore that he tried to get you to shoot me last time we saw him. I'm channeling my saturation towards making amends for my past transgressions. Prismatology has taught me... Yeah, yeah, we get it. Which way to the blister of tranquility? Enlightenment is the only way to reach the blister of tranquility. How about we enlighten your skull a little? Would that work? The blister is through that little box right over there. See you later. We've got important sightseeing to do. Great! What's this? Looks like a bent spoon with some peanut butter on it. The power to bend and rebend spoons stored within this completely indestructible magical talisman was among the first mental abilities to be developed and popularized by Hugh Bliss. Big deal. I can bend spoons with my bare hands. One question. Would it work on wrenches? Hmm. Yeah, a wrench is close enough. Interesting, interesting. Ah, you made me forget where I was. Let's see. <laughs> indestructible magical talisman. Oh, yeah. The virtually indestructible display case is a triumph of modern prismatological science. Virtually indestructible? Extensive testing has been done on the case, showing it to be impervious to bullets, acid, high falls, crushing force, sonic weaponry, diamond tip drills, hurricanes, poisons, cynicism, and liquid nitrogen. Don't touch it. You might break it. Oops. <laughs> it's not held down very securely. Here, Max, hold this. Ooh. I meant in your hands, but whatever. <laughs> One moment, please. I'm supposed to frisk everybody when they leave. Just a formality. We understand. Okay, go ahead. Oh my goodness, it's Super Bowl. I love Super Bowl. Hey, Small Worlds. It's our favorite cabinet secretary and secret service man, Agent Super Bowl. Favorite? That'd be like choosing a favorite child, Sam. I love them all. Didn't I see you last week beating the Secretary of Defense over the head with his own war agenda? Granted, it's a tough love. Greetings, newcomers. Blessed be. So let me guess. You're guarding the door to this retreat. Affirmative. I have a passion for it, sir. And Hugh Bliss believed in my door guarding abilities when no one else would. Great story, great story. Okay, let us in. Negative. Only level red prismatologists may enter Hugh Bliss's magical paradise. What's a level red prismatologist? Because I'm pretty sure I am one. Level red is apex of prismatology, sir. You'd have to undergo spectrum analysis to determine your current level. Spectrum analysis? Is that where you lie perfectly still in a lead coffin while brightly colored cotton swabs are inserted into various orifices? No, sir. We gave that up in 87. It's much simpler now. Yep, we're level red. Let us in. I'm sure you're mistaken, but we'll run the spectrum analysis anyway. Take this. A unicorn? What am I supposed to do with this? Rub it, sir. Rub it, Sam. Harder. Harder. I'm sorry, sir. The unicorn says you're yellow. No one calls us yeller! Draw, partner! <laughs> level yellow is frankly rather pathetic, sir. Only level reds may enter the retreat. Regulations? Hmm. However, Hugh Bliss would like you to keep the unicorn as a token of his love. Rub it often to measure your progress towards true bliss. Oh boy, a pet unicorn! I shall call him horny. You do that. <laughs> so long, Super Bowl. Ah, uh, Super Bowl. Whee! Good guy. I think that's a satellite. Where are we headed now, Sam? Terra Firma.
Adam. Without that, we can't watch Colonel Mudshank's monkey party tonight. They were gonna vote somebody out of the monkey house. It's for the good of the planet. And besides, you had Colonel Mudshank's exiled for treason, remember? Mm. Did you remember to feed Leonard today, Max? Sure! Let me rephrase that. What have you been feeding him? You know, bits of string, leftover screws, random scraps of paper I find lying around the office. This morning I fed him something that said, Deed to the United States of America. It looked tasty. Ugh, so much crazy stuff. Hi, Jimmy. Up to no good as usual, I see. Back off, Fuzz. Get your own meter. I think we already did. The city made us pay for that one when we bent it. What do you mean, we, White Rabbit? Hey, boss, oh, dear me. God. Internet. Didn't I tell you boys not to track mud in the store? I just vacuumed. Hey, lady, we're looking for Bosco. You know him? Of course. He's my son. Your... your own mother? Is there no escaping these infernal time travel paradoxes? Hey, guys, it's me, Bosco. Mind telling us how you came to be a woman? Did you use lasers or just do it the old-fashioned way? Are you sassing me? Boy, I will whoop your behind so hard you won't be able to see straight. But I don't see out of my behind. You will after I get through with you. But who in their right mind would dress up as their own mother? No one. Good point. Look at me when I'm talking to you. Just for that, I'm not going to tell you why I dressed up as her. Oh, come on, Bosco. We were only... You just cost yourself dessert, mister. So, how are those Bosco Tech breasts holding up? Oh, these are all natural, honey. Now, I'm not gonna lie. I like them bosomy. Oh, Max, you take after your father. Okay, you just cross the line, pal. Easy, Max. Theoretically, we have even more disturbed people to worry about right now. We want to buy something. Did you finish all your chores? Yes. Okay. You can get one thing. One! What do you got? Oh, my little angel made the most precious device. It's called an earthquake maker, and it's just what you think. A diarrhea-inducing cocktail? Max, why can't you be more like your brother? He's not my brother. Sam, I don't want you hanging around with him. He's a bad influence. That he is, Mama Bosco. That he is. Knowing you, Bosco, I'm sure it's quite reasonable, but how much for this earthquake maker? A hundred trillion dollars. A hundred trillion? <laughs> you crazy fool! Look, man, all I know is I keep making up the most ridiculous price I can think of, and you keep paying it. So I ask you, who's the fool? Well, with a sales pitch like that, how can we not buy it? Remember, no earthquakes in the house. Never mind. See you later, Bosco's mom. Go clean your office. It's a pigsty. I know one way to get horny hot. Success. His little horn's nice and red. Wow. I can't believe the microwave is a high-level prismatologist. <laughs> I mean, it makes sense. He would be a high-level prismatologist. Hey, microwaves can do anything.
Let's go see what Sybil's up to. Queen. She's a queen now. Hiya, Sybil. Hello, Sam. Hello, Max. But we prefer to be addressed by our official title. Is Sybil hearing the voices again? The people, the people! Are you feeling all right, Sybil? You bet we are. We just got the best job ever. We are the Queen of Canada. I always thought Rush was the Queen of Canada. <laughs> queen of Canada? How'd you land that gig? Did you find half of an old locket dripping with syrup and bacon grease, hinting at a long-forgotten lineage? Nothing that interesting, we're afraid. We answered a classified ad. Yeah, the Canadians are practical that way. They've been looking for a figurehead to give the country a little bit more class. They said we were the perfect candidate. You're not even Canadian, are you? Heck no. But we took two quarters of French in college, and we spelled color with a U. If not knowing how to spell is enough to become royalty, I could become President of the United States! You are President of the United States, Max. By God, you're right, Sam! How come I'm not bombing anything right now? Plus, we were the only candidate. Need any help with your monarchy? We could be freelance Mounties! Thanks for the offer, guys, but we've got things under control for now. You're helping a lot just by not making any of the obvious Canada jokes. Who would make obvious jokes, eh? Yeah, Sybil. That's just not what we're about. <laughs> if you're Queen of Canada, how come you're still down here in the States? Are you kidding? It's freezing up there. We love our country, but we've got to draw the line somewhere. What kind of stuff does the Queen of Canada do, anyway? It's mostly promotional. We throw out the first puck in hockey games, that kind of thing. This afternoon, we've got to go pose for money. Sam, how come I don't get to pose for- We already talked about this, Max. Your gruesome head frightens shopkeepers and plays havoc with ATMs. Our most important job is to look for ways to spruce up the country. How can you possibly spruce up Canada? It's a paradise year-round, from the fresh air and great seafood of British Columbia to the bustling metropolises in Ontario and Quebec. You still have that endorsement with the tourism board? Every little bit helps make ends meet, Max, with the rate you go through new shoes. I didn't complain when you were teething, Sam. Have you come up with any brilliant ideas for improving Canada? Nothing solid yet. We've thought of a new slogan. Canada. It's surprisingly pleasant, but we need something bigger, something to really put us on the map. See you later, Your Majesty. You may go. So, I am a fan of the Queen of Canada. It's a good, uh, good job, Sybil. Okay, we got the red horn unicorn. So let's go. Where are we headed now, Sam? To the Super Bowl. To the moon, Alice. There you go, Super Bowl. Let us in. Have you achieved level red yet? Yes. I'm utterly flabbergasted, sir. I'd suspect a trick, but surely no level red prismatologist would stoop so low. We never stoop. We're posture freaks. Enjoy the retreat, brothers. Sam! Sam! There he is! It's Hugh Bliss! Hi, I'm Hugh Bliss. Hi, 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 Hugh Bliss.
I so hope you're enjoying my blister of tranquility. You're all making such great progress unlocking the secrets of prismatology, and I couldn't be more delighted. Neither could I. Cool it, Max. You're scaring me more than usual. I have splendid news! My top secret plan to hypnotize the entire world is nearly complete! <laughs> Soon, everyone on Earth will become one of us. None shall escape. It'll be fabulous. <laughs> You're a good man. Bravo, bravo. Outstanding. Yeah. Outstanding. You're awesome. This guy really knows how to work a room. Keep up the great work, everyone. I'm tickled pink. <laughs> An entire planet of prismatologists. It's like a dream. The kind of dream where you wake up screaming with a gun in your hand, your pillow torn to shreds, and the upstairs neighbors calling 911. That's right, the best kind! P.S. Please don't come into my inner sanctum. Thank you! Look, Max, it's the giant stone head of your old opponent, Abraham Lincoln. Welcome, brethren, to the blister of... Oh, it's you two. Not so tough without your fancy giant robot body, are you? I can still bite off your fluffy little... Uh, I mean... Let me help you, brother, to overcome the orange of confrontation and bathe in the yellow of peace and brotherhood. Bathe in the yellow? Just what kind of camp is this? You're not still bitter about the election, are you? Or your public humiliation? Or the cruise missile that blew your body to tiny wig bits? Election? Heck no. Being president is for chumps. Only a grade-A sociopathic masochist would want that thankless job. Grade-A? <laughs> I'm flattered. Why the long marble face? Because you two made me lose something more valuable than an election. My one chance at true love. This is all happening so fast. I don't know what to say. Not you, moron. I'm talking about that radiant vision of beauty you had interrupt my family value speech. You mean Sybil? Is that her name? Sybil? It's like a chorus of angels. We can give you Sybil's phone number so you can set up a date. I haven't dated in over 150 years. I wouldn't know what to say. Phone, Max. Hello. If you'd like to make a love connection, press or say hell yeah now. Just follow my lead, Mr. Lincoln. Hello? Sybil Pandemic speaking. Uh, hi. It's Abraham Lincoln. Oh. You've got some nerve calling after how you treated me. Wait, don't hang up. Just relax, baby. Think positive, and Lincoln gonna make it all better. Hmm. Well, I do believe in proper relaxation. Maybe you have changed. Lady, you a stone cold fox. Seriously? Well, all right. Damn! Oh, well, you're pretty foxy yourself. And I happen to love foxes. All right, maybe I'll give you another chance. If we go out on a date, what do you want to do? I figure we watch a hockey game, have a couple of beers, get some poutine. You know, the usual. Was that... Did she actually say yes? Hello! You just totally scored! Thank you! Congratulations, Mr. Lincoln! Oh my gosh, what if she wants to get serious? I can't do this! I'm so nervous, I've got butterflies! I have to ask, where? Stand back, Max. 
Wherever they are, I have a feeling they're coming back up. Oh, I don't feel so good. What if she... and I can't... Oh, man. And here I thought our trip to the moon was going to be boring. Max, be a sport and pick that up for me. Not a chance. Hey, Lincoln, can I take this? I'm not sure why you'd want to use the power of prismatology to make people throw up, but go ahead. I've got more important things to worry about. Follow that, that, that advice. You can get any woman to go out with you. True story. Lovely. Hey, it's that display case. Thanks, little pal. Aw, I was saving that! For what? It's complicated, but it has to do with my personal vendetta against a certain major coffee house chain. Look, Max, it's our obsolete computer pals, the cops. They don't sound very happy to see us. You destroyed Reality 2.0. Destroy! Remember your blitz. Adopt a more positive attitude now. What are you computers doing here on the moon? Prismatology has restored our sense of purpose. After you destroyed Reality 2.0, we banded together to make a newer, even better game. Coming soon. It will rock your world! You came to a private retreat on the moon to work on something as insubstantial as a video game? Not just any game. We are creating the most advanced AI in history. In a world where two forces battle for domination of a war-torn landscape, only one will draw the line and reign supreme. Do you get to shoot stuff? It's not a good game until you get to shoot stuff. Thank you for your feedback. We will incorporate shooting into version 2.0. Okay, Max and I'll try out this video game of yours. Prepare to suffer extreme humiliation! <laughs> the year is 2048. In a post-apocalyptic galaxy run by giant corporations, you are a cybernetically enhanced space marine with no memory of his past. Are you the chosen one foretold by prophecy? Do you have the strength to survive? Tick! Tick! Doom! The is mine! Get a lot of this move! Death to infidels! Oh my goodness. I will destroy you! You will fail! You cannot defeat me! Please try again later. Hey cops. We'd like to try out that video game of yours again. This time you will be annihilated! Do you have the strength to survive? Tick, tack, doom! Own! I am invincible! Fear me! Get a lot of this move! Oh my god. Fear me! You are destroyed! Oh darn. You beat me fair and square. Good game. I totally beat you guys! Our journey of personal awareness is now complete. 
we have mastered the most advanced artificial intelligence ever created. You suck so bad, LOL! Let me try, Sam. I know I can take him. As super sophisticated AI entity... Brother, speak so that the primitive Earthlings may understand. Of course. We smart, you dumb. No more need look within self. Hey, can we take this? Congratulations! You've won free tickets to self-awareness! Cool! The effects are limited to those of Plumius' composition. What did he say? The amazing ability to see through lead may be inappropriate for some viewers. Huh. So that was actually incredibly hard to lose that game. It's tic-tac-toe, but it was n clearly not trying to win. What the hell, dude? Oh look, there's a slightly beat up robotic exoskeleton in the trash. The past is only useful as fertilizer for the future. Hugh Bliss said that. Door is locked. Hey, the keys are locked inside. So many of us are like that. Hmm, nothing happened. Nuh uh. No way. Got it. Sam? I think the controls don't work how they're supposed to. It's all ready to go. It's all ready to go. That never gets old. Oh boy! It looks like that rocket melted the virtually indestructible case right off the indestructible magic spoon bending talisman. Did the peanut butter on the spoon survive? Sorry, little pal. Where are we headed now, Sam? Home.
was kind of fun. that they're at the corner straight and narrow. Okay, so... Where are we headed now, Sam? To the moon, Alice. How's it gone? Silence. I believe I have finally mastered this pinnacle of prestidigitation, the legendary rat from the hat. Hey! Oh, I just remembered. I can't stand rats. They're vile vermin. Smile when you say that, Beaky. Beaky? Sheesh. I hate this pulling out of the hat business. Next time, I'll find something better to hang on to. Oh dear, no. There won't be a next time. I shall never do this trick again. In fact, I would appreciate it if you would be so good as to remove the hat from my presence. Sure. didn't hurt the bowling ball. There he is! Jigs up, you bliss. We've come a long way for this, my friend, so buckle up, because the freelance police are taking you downtown. Hi, I'm Hugh Bliss. He is. You're just in time for the show. Please, no flash photography. Ahem. People of Earth. Hi, I'm Hugh Bliss. And now... So are you! <laughs> okay. What have you done? Oh, just enlisted a few billion followers. Touch me and you'll have quite a happy mob on your hands. Not if we... Reverse the effects of the hypno-beam? I don't think so. For in all the universe, there's only one force chaotic and destructive enough to stop me now. But you wouldn't do that, would you, Max? Who, oh, oh. me? <laughs> well, I'm... I'm flattered, but... No, you wouldn't. Because I'm going to... Drumroll, please. Separate your blade! Really? What does that even mean? It means I chop off every part of you I don't like. It's like circumcision, but <laughs> double the laughs. Hey! <laughs> Wait, what? Here we go! Goodbye, murderous hand. <gasps> Goodbye, gluttonous stomach. Goodbye, slothful tail. <laughs> Ow! And with those naughty body parts, your vices are purged from your soul. Bye-bye. Thanks for the hand, jerkbag. I'm going to 
use it to shoot you all! <laughs> oh boy, a stomach! Just what I always wanted! Now come here and let me eat you! <laughs> Great, a tail. Hmm. I just want to lie in front of a TV till I die in a pool of my own slobber. Congratulations, Max! I just beat the living vice out of you! <laughs> I'm pure bliss. Ah. Go away, rotten Maxes! I don't like you! Shoo shoo, shoo shoo, go away! Now nothing can stop me! I win! Okay, bye now. Oh, yes, my children. Let me soak in your happiness. Oh, yes, mmm, more. Oh, yes, so good. Oh, oh my, so happy. <laughs> Max, are you okay? Help me grab that ponytail freak show and reverse the effects of the beam. But Sam, I love that ponytail freak show. I want to have his love child. No! Max, I swear to you, I'll get your vices back or kill us both trying. I love you too. I think we found one of your doppelgangers, little pal. We're all doppelgangers under the skin, Sam. <gasps> Goody! Moving target! I feel a nearly irrepressible desire to shoot at anything that moves. That's the spirit. Not me, knucklehead. Hmm. Just chopped his hand off right off. That that's yeah, that's a thing. Look, Max, it's another one of you. He made it 20 feet from the box before collapsing under the weight of his own laziness. Ennui is one of the five fundamental forces. <sighs> no TV? Why even go on? You should all just lie on your faces and wait for death. It's true. I got nothing. I'm a failure. <laughs> I'm on the verge of tears. This guy's the death of the party.
Hey Leonard, how's it going? Hey, looks like your paperwork finally came through. It's the deed to the United States, and it's still moist. Yeah, the deed for the United States. What are we going to do with that? You look like you're in a shopping mood. Might you be interested in, say, the United States? Oh, how lovely. We can call it Lower Saskatchewan. What a perfectly delightful name. Yeah, yeah, all right. How much are you willing to spend? Oh, such a grand country deserves a grand price. We simply refuse to buy it for less than $100 trillion. It's only fair. We wouldn't hear of it. That's far too much. I'll handle this, Mr. President, if you insist, Your Highness. Is cash all right? We've been dying to use the new Canadian trillion dollar notes. Is that a picture of Celine Dion? She's a national treasure! <laughs> you know, it just makes sense Celine Dion would be on the trillion dollar bill, the Canadian one. Either that or Michael J. Fox. More juice! More nachos! Holy heaping helpings of high fructose corn syrup. He's eating everything in sight. Bosco, do not freak out. Attaboy! Eat up so you'll grow big and strong. What is the world coming to? Bosco, pasta knobs! Aisle four! <laughs> oh my, that one does have an appetite. At the rate he's going, his stomach won't even fit back inside you. I've no need for my earthy stomach any longer, Sam. I'm on Hugh Bliss's cleansing fast of lemon, water, and sunshine. As God is my witness, by the end of this day, you will be eating Coco Nougat Butterballs again. Hey, Bosco's mom. Hi, I'm Hugh Bliss. What? I thought you were Bosco's mom. Oh, yes, I'm Bosco's mom, Hugh Bliss. Identity really is a difficult concept. We want to buy something. Goody! Here you go, Bosco. 100 trillion in completely non-counterfeit bills. Hmm. Let me look at that. Celine Dion. Okay. Looks good to me. Here's your earthquake maker. A remote control? Don't get me wrong. I love TV as much as the next guy, but... It controls my satellite defense system. Only one button still works, though. Just press it. For an earthquake. And this adheres, I hope, to all reasonable safety guidelines? Who knows? One more thing. You have to be in range of the satellite for it to work. All right, where'd you park it? For some reason, I was suspicious of those blessed people on the moon, so I left it up there. How silly of me. Gotta use it on the moon. Check. Thank you, and goodbye, Brother Bosco. <laughs> Hey! Hey, hey, what are you doing? Hmm, something smells good. Hey, are you gonna eat that? Well, I suppose I could share. Ooh. Ladies and gentlemen, the great Samini. Hey, let go! 
go! What's this I see? Is that my stomach? Give me that hat! Ooh. Hey! I feel all warm inside. Like my belly's a sort of cozy place where flavored popcorn and sugar drinks can meet and mingle. That's my boy. To the moon, Alice. Don't you like soak in the fact now that we sold America? Canada, Canada changed the flag on the moon. Pretty classy, Canada. Pretty classy. Let's see if I can get any reception for this thing here. Well. Shame on you, Sam. Someone could have been hurt. I miss you, little pal. I'm afraid I'm going to be needing your tail so I can put my little buddy back together in a Frankenstein-like fashion. Whatever. Sam, what are you doing? You may not want to watch this. All of a sudden, I feel like watching TV and eating orange marshmallow peanuts instead of doing anything constructive. I can't tell you how happy that makes me. It's so strange. I... Have I been away, Sam? In a manner of speaking, Hugh Bliss split you into pieces, so you've kind of been all over the place. Hugh Bliss. I hate that guy now, with his phony smile and his artificial happy-happy. What do you say we tar and feather that self-righteous jerk? Good to have you back, little buddy. Time to get ourselves some good old-fashioned payback, and incidentally, save the world in the process. What are we waiting for? Whee! Going into the final showdown. The finale of season one. Hurry, little buddy, get him! Hi, I'm Hugh Blitz. Stop Blitt saying that! Huh? Yeah! Uh oh, you little idiot! You've ruined my hypno beam. I should have killed you earlier, but what can I say? I'm too nice. That said, die, bunny! Wrong. What the? What the? Hi, we're you Bliss! We are a space-faring colony of sentient bacteria! A sentence I really did not expect to hear today. <laughs> we cannot be harmed by bullets. We only need one thing, to feed. You see, we feed on the endorphins produced by humans experiencing true bliss. So you don't care if people are happy at all. You just want to eat till you drop. Yes. Hey, I hear that. But you want us to starve. And for that, you will die. <gasps> In the most fantastic display of the year, I've ever witnessed! Hey, gotta look good for the cameras. What cameras? Pack your bags, Sam, because you just won an all-expense paid trip to your grave. <gasps> 
and you get to watch him die. <gasps> Let the magic begin. Ladies and gentlemen, for my first trick I give you, the Rainbow Wheel of Death! Yay! Oh, Dad! Whoa! Also known as Emetics, the ride! Oh, I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> exactly! Throw some daggers! No, hatchets! Hey! Sorry, I got excited. I've got a better idea. I'll just torture him mercilessly until he begs me to shoot him with his own gun! Ah. <laughs> and I bet Willie Mays never caught one while spinning on a wheel of death. Evil <laughs> What? So that's how magicians switch places with people. By magic. <laughs> In retrospect, I probably shouldn't have left that lying around. Way to go, Sam! You did it! Thanks, little buddy. Frankly, I wish it had been a little more challenging. Kind of a letdown. Uh, but... Excuse me? Huh? I think you're forgetting something. You forget something? Me? No, I don't know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> my magic eight ball told me to bring my antibacterial soap today. Why didn't I listen? Next off, the number one magic trick at every Christmas Dolly party It's time to separate your blast! No, not that. Don't worry, this won't hurt a bit. Until the saw hits you, then you'll die! Gruesome! I love it! Ah. <laughs> 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 Evil giggle. No, not spoony enough. I can't escape! <laughs> Swap all you want. It drives the crowd wild. Hmm. Saw us, Sam! We dare you. Maybe I will. Take this! Cut his guts off! Yeah! Oh, oh no! It hurts, it hurts! <laughs> Still fun to watch! <laughs> For my next trick, I present to you... Ticket to Oblivion! The Lunar Lander? It's the Ticket to Oblivion! Enjoy your stay in outer space! Until you die! <laughs> <laughs> Sam! Bye! Bye now! Bye! I'll give the guy one thing. He does put on a good show. This is fun. It's okay, everyone! I'm all right! Oh, you suck! I heard that. Consider this a trap so deadly it would cause you to die! That is deadly. It's the cleansing bath of annihilation! Oh, could we skip this one? I kind of have a thing about drowning. <clears throat> oh, let me think. No! Don't drown, Sam! Thanks, little buddy. That's such a boring way to die. Try to get cut in half instead. Thanks, little buddy. <laughs> Water? Oh me, oh my, whatever will I do? Oh wait, bacteria can't drown! Oh, oh, oh. Whee! <laughs> Shut up! Ha ha ha! And now, back by pop 
popular demand, it's the Rainbow Wheel of Death! Not again. Oh no! Mommy! I want to get off! <laughs> We're going to separate your bliss! <gasps> Saw us, Sam! We dare you. Uh, what are you doing? Just seeing what this saw can do. You dirty mutt! I'm gonna shove that saw up your... Yeah. Come on, this is a family show. I wouldn't swear. I'll just kill him some other way! Yes, kids. It's your and my favorite. The cleansing bath of annihilation! <laughs> hey, you bless. Separate this. <laughs> Come on down, Max. You just won the grand prize, a drink of our villain. Hey, you Bliss. See you on the other side. <laughs> well, I can't wait to see the souvenir you keep from this case. And with my next number one, I shall give birth to the cult of diuretics. Which reminds me, we've got to go knock out Wizard again. And everyone else on Earth, for that matter. Oh, yeah. Hey, have you seen my boxing glove? I can't find it anywhere. This it? I was saving it for a surprise. You're the best friend I ever had, Sam. And you're mine, little buddy. Now, let's go save the world. Stick a fork in, open wide, everyone is Max and Son, full of colorful guts and habits, cryptic work of cryptic rabbits, underutilized impulse control, rabbit rampant junk food, black hole, loopy craving. Rig on a roll, feel his giant feet right in your soul. Mania soft, the reverence excess, gluttony, revelry, violence, and selfishness. Flags of pure, unfettered, it brashly unfurled. It's a max, 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 max world. Do I get another case, Sam. Surely the local lawbreakers must miss our esoteric brand of personalized criminal justice. Everyone's a sandwich of naivety and cynicism. Everyone's a salad of disinterested fantasism. Everyone's a walking figure of potential cataclysm. Take a spork in deep inside. Everyone is maxified by hypnosis or by nature. What's the difference? Just nomenclature. Shake your friends, adorable paws. Careful, love is powerful. By 
fighting jaws We're a mix of cop and felon Wearing hands like ripened watermelons Mania slot, irreverence, excess Gluttony, revelry, violence and selfishness This is it, uh, where's Flags the food? Uh, Shelly, there's a buffet back here Max, 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 Max world. I'm an ongoing project, like a golden calf or a graven image. I'll only rest once people are sacrificing their firstborn unto me. Also, I'd like to direct. For the Netherlands on my Netherlands. So yeah, that was a great ending. I mean, I just did not expect it to end that way. I mean, yeah, I mean, I expected the game that the, the end credits was just amazing. So anyway, that is the end of Sam Max Season 1. Um, not, not a fan of the puzzles. The puzzles were a little uh, iffy. And I, I mean, I use guys to get through most of them. But I, I like the story. I like the humor. I like the characters. So yeah, next time I'll start up Santa Max Season 2. Uh, first episode is called Ice Station Santa. Nice. So anyway, thank you for watching and I'll catch you next time.